Hello, this is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida. This is Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. These are my new Vivid Intense Colors. And I have them around here somewhere. They come in little tiny bottles, one ounce and four ounce sizes. And then you can mix them drop by drop. Just a few drops makes these colors, food, depending on your pouring medium. And I'm using Flow Troll and some Vivid Polypore. I tried some Vivid Enamel. I'm definitely putting GAC 800 by Golden. 25% in everything. So that doesn't change. That's my one standard go-to. I want to just play with creating some cells on Escape. But I think first I want to do a sky. And I'm going to take a chance that things will stay wet. And start with a layer of Artist Loft. I did use some of my Artist Loft mix that's mixed with Floetrol and GAC 800 to create a pastel shade because I had some left in a dish already in a little cup. Anyway, so you can do all kinds of things with these Vivid Intents. My first three paintings were yesterday. I did a couple 10 by 10s, just practice sizes. And a, the, my first painting was a 12 by 16, and that was a swipe, and that was 9015, I believe. And I see that thing that does not belong. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it again. Because I dripped right on top of it. Come on, out you come. All right, so what am I going to do? I think I'm going to pour a dish for my sky. And I'm going to use some of the Artist Loft white base. And I have, I believe, an ultramarine blue. And I made these much more fluid than they have to be. So it really depends on the thickness of the pouring, pouring medium that you're choosing. This is my leftover blue with a little bit of, I'm trying to remember, <laughs> uh, da -dum -dum. I could just reach over behind me and find out. I believe that I put in some phthalo green actually and uh, the blue is Ultramarine blue, like I said, I'm going to keep these handy. And I made up, um, I used some of the titanium, titanium white and some quinacridone magenta and a dot of the dioxazine violet. And this is going to be interesting. I think I have some small edge catchers here. You know what? I want some more white. I think I'm willing to scrape out my dish as best I can. My OXO omelette turning flip and fold spatula from Good Grips, best paint spreading tool I know of, which is about to go in the bucket after I get the last of that paint. Now I could have just waited and added some more white right into that. And it's time to grab one of my little edge catchers without spilling any paint, please, Priscilla. Now I have a really tall one if I want a long edge catcher if I wanted to go across the top but I kind of feel like I probably don't need it. Once the paint hits the edge it means I have a bead and if I move the edge catcher just ever so slightly I can cover that edge. I'm going to let this go back the other way. These are gorgeous colors. What a great cloud. 
going to try and get up toward the top. And I can take just a portion of my edge catcher and use it. And I can still shimmy it back on. What a great cloud. No hard edges allowed. Might take a minute. Let everything go up. I think it's good I don't have an excess of paint to tell you the truth. I'm not sure I'm happy I did that, but I've also got another spatula and I can have all the paint I want off my edge catcher. And I can put it right along that top edge if I want to. I kind of want a tiny tadpole more right here. There we go. So that's my sky. I was originally thinking I would just make it white. That can definitely go. That's a hair. You don't need to use your breath. You could probably use a straw. Let me grab one. Okay, good. So far so good. I'll show that to you. That's pretty much a standalone sky. So the next part should be really interesting for me because I'm going to use some, uh, some cell activator. Oh, I see I've got a few places across my top that could use a finger right now. And I have just enough paint to do that too. My edges look pretty good. Now my edges are covered. Okay, so you've seen it. I really could um, torch. I don't know why I get caught up in little things like that. So, what colors am I going to use up across the bottom? I'm going to give myself some little puddles because I need the colors that I add to have enough liquid underneath them to go by to swipe along. Now, I should probably be using a spoon. It occurs to me. But I'm also pretty sure that I can use this palette knife without a problem. Alright, that's probably way more than enough. I'm going to grab, that was the violet, dioxazine violet. This is the phalo, phalo green. Probably should have remixed these. I'm going to wipe that off. I don't know why I'm wiping it off. Try and close these up. I'm going to use some az uh, nickel azo gold. I'm probably going to put a little black and I might put a little green in. I'm thinking the green might be a good idea, actually. I've got six minutes left. Now if I make brown, I guess that's okay. Because really it's a landscape. And 
And I'm pretty sure purple and azo gold will make something a little bit mucky, yucky. But I'm willing to risk it to find out once. So I made a color from the yellow green and some titanium white and maybe a drop of blue, a uh, drop of phthalo. I probably put those in way too evenly. This color is very intense, so a little does go a long way, I'm finding. This is all new to me. One more green. Come on, cover, go on. Once they get a little paint in the, in the rim, they don't want to go on as easily. I'm trying to... I was going to wipe that paint off. Why would I do that when I can use it in the painting? I think the key really is doing something I don't, I'm not doing right now, which is making the colors of very variations of each other more in some places and less in others. Okay, so this is my, I'm going to use my spatula. I'm going to throw this one in the bucket though. I'm going to use my small spatula. I might even use a little bit of gold. I'm using uh, Amsterdam white and Amsterdam black with Aussie Floetrol. And I'm going to use a little bit of Pebio Iridescent Gold that also has it. So this is the moment when I really kind of want that edge catcher I was talking about. The long one. Because that would get me some movement. Just depends on how hard it will be to get it. And I'm not seeing it. Well, that's not helpful. I can do a partial, can I? Not really. Let's just drip it down and see what happens. I really, really want an edge catcher. This one is going to have to do. And I see a gap in my sky up there and I'm going to stick my finger in it. I get my edge catchers from my packages of value pack 16 by 20 inch canvases that I buy at Michael's. I'm just going to move that right down the edge. And I see that my clouds all moved. So that's a good lesson for me to, to realize that I should probably do my sky at a different time. But it's not going to keep me from trying. To make adjustments with my little acetate tool. Because there's plenty of flow troll and everything which means it will level the paint. Now I've got enough paint dripping down. I do wish I had had that long edge catcher. It would have been a similar effect. It just sort of moves the shapes. And I will remember next time to do the sky at a different point in time. Or maybe if I had a heavier viscosity. Maybe if it was heavier paint. The dendrites look like little forest on top of the, on top of the hillside. I'm loving the fact that the cell activator works so well with this paint. 
I've got all kinds of adorable little cells. And you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. I'm just picking up flow, overflow paint and putting it in the gaps that I see on the, along the bottom of the canvas. And that works pretty well because paint will continue to flow to paint. So that's a vivid intense scape and um, I just want to tip it down and see if the sky wants to fall some more. <laughs> oh, I've got a couple more spots. And then I'll turn it around. I don't think I need to do a whole lot else to that because this is meant to be s simple. I've got three minutes to tell you guys. I do sell my artwork. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be doing it with my finger. The only reason I'm taking a chance with my finger is because I know that the um, flow troll will help level things. And also I'm willing to <laughs> sacrifice another spatula. Alright, I'm going to zoom in for you guys. You could probably do whatever you want with this. It would be cool to have like a little tiny hot air balloon floating along or put some trees along, but I think you would have to wait no matter what for tomorrow. So I have 28 lists of 100 videos. If you're interested in watching more of my videos, I have them organized by topic and genre. If you want to look for them yourself on playlist, playlists, there shouldn't be any there shouldn't be anything shimmering down there, but it might be brightening it up a little bit to show you. The sky is beautiful. I'm going to torch briefly in case there are a few bubbles, and there might be a couple. Stick my finger in any gaps. Use any paint I see to fill in. As long as it's early days in the, in the drawing time, and the paint is very liquidous, it, it'll take longer for it to dry for sure. All right, so what can I tell you guys? My email address, it's EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. And if you want to inquire about lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida or the purchase of an artwork, that's the best way to reach me. If you leave me comments, you boost my morale and I really appreciate that so much. My paint pouring recipes will be in the description underneath the video. When you like my videos, get by giving me a thumbs up and share them and watch them longer. Any one of those three things or all of those three things are really helpful to me. I appreciate that so much. Thank you for the donations that help keep me painting. Uh, there's a PayPal icon on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner if you would like to make a donation. If you would like to become a member of my channel, it's $9.99 a month and you'll have access to a members only library of 60 or 70 videos. My Amazon link is on my link tree. There's a 15% off color art coupon code underneath show more. And uh, the link tree has my website, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Appreciation Group, Society6, Le Gallerist, and all kinds of other stuff I can't even remember all of. In any case, if I can help you, please make a mention of it and uh, I'll get back to you in comments. If you're looking for my community board, it's on my channel and going to my community board will show you tomorrow's video. If you're looking at the clothing under the video, that's spring and by clicking that link you'll find all the other really awesome stuff that I have there. And if you'd like to see something added to inventory at spring or the gallerist or society six or Pinterest, excuse me, or, or pixels.com, fine art America, just ask me because I will probably have no problem adding it for you. All right. I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'm, I don't know why I'm shining a light. I really don't because there's no shimmer, but I love the simplicity of this. And I see that thing that I'm going to pull out of there with tweezers in a second, right there. And I'll tell you, take care of each other. Take care of yourself. Um, I post at 2.15 PM Eastern standard time most days. And I hope you make it tomorrow. I'll see you then. Priscilla, out. Oh, I'll see you anon. Bye. Love you guys. You inspire the heck out of me.